my god. Uh, so funny. Very, very. Very funny. Mom. Yes, my dear. Why is she always so moody? She's not talking to anyone. She's not playing with anything. Sunday. Focus. But she, she's just so moody. I said focus on the television. Uh huh. That reminds me. Favor. Favor. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Where are you? Come here. Please go to the kitchen and serve our lunch. Hmm? Okay. My friend will be joining us for lunch this afternoon, so make provisions for her. Okay? Okay, ma. Okay. Stay home, man, with your cousin oh. and take care of the house. Oh, I don't want to follow you. No, you can't follow us. So. Why? I can't leave Favor alone at home. No, stay and have fun with her, please. But she, she's so moody, she does not even want to play with anybody. Mm. Please have fun with her, eh? Let's go. That reminds me, Favor has been very moody. As though she behaves as though she's dramatized. Is there anything wrong with her? Well, there is everything wrong with her. You see, Favor is from um, a problematic family. She has actually lived seeing her parents quarreling and fighting, and eventually they are divorced. Oh no. So you see, my family now decided that they bring her to me so that she can stay with us. So that's the problem. <sighs> I'm so sorry for her. She has been through a lot at her tender age. Well, <sighs> yes, but the truth is, I'm actually considering to send her back. What? Yes. No, that's not a better way of helping her. See, she, her mood is, is, I mean, it's disturbing me. I don't want her to infect my house, my home, and my son. So I think I should send her back home. My sister, my friend, mm. the best way of helping Favor out 
is for you to be available for her emotionally, physically, and mentally. Correcting every misinformation that must have stuck into her brain as a result of the traumatic event mm. she went through, please. Sending her away from your house is not going to help her, please. Is that what you think? Yes. Okay, well, I see you make some sense here. In addition, you could look for uh, games she loves involving her serving. Okay. It could be outdoor games, indoor games, and make her to always play around with her friends. With that, you make her to come out of her shells. Mm -hmm. Then she'll be a better person. Yeah. Please, mm -hmm. okay. don't send her away from your house. Please. I was really considering sending her back to, from where she came from. That's not a better way of helping her. Okay. Trust me. So, I think maybe she'll come along with us, isn't it? Yes, yes, please. Let <laughs> both of them join us. Yeah. Uh, you can join us. I'm too right. happy about that. I Favor! Oh, she's so sweet. Yes. Favor! Yes. Don't worry, she will change. Alright. Come, my baby. Come. Come. You know you're my baby. Hmm? And you smile for me now. Hmm? Let's go out together. Hmm? Yay, yeah, that's nice. As a family that we are, will you come along with us? Hmm? Yes. Say yes, please. Yes, I hey. Woo! <laughs> that's lovely. Okay, so go out and go and get set. Go and dress up. Soon they give the rice, go and dress up so that we can all go. Our time is up. Yes. Go, go dress up. Let's let's hurry. Thank you so much for the food. Thank God. Thank God. I wish I, I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time. So okay. Thank you. Childhood trauma is an event in child experience that evoke fear. It is often violent, dangerous, or life-threatening. There are different experiences that can lead to childhood trauma. Physical or sexual abuse can be traumatic for children. One-time incidents like car accidents, major health incidents, loss of a loved one, war or natural disaster can have psychological toll on children. Ongoing stress from a toxic home environment can be traumatic for children. About 15% of girls and 6% of boys developed post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, following a traumatic event. Children with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, may experience the trauma in their brain over and over again. This may lead to children acting younger than their age, having trouble focusing, feeling depressed or anxious, having increased anger and aggression, finding it difficult to be affectionate with others, developing new fear, losing interest in the activities they once enjoyed, finding it difficult to sleep and having issues with their schoolwork. Childhood trauma can affect a child's mental, physical and social health. Traumatic events can affect how a child's brain develops, which can have lifelong consequences on them physically, mentally, and socially. Traumatic events can impair the physical development of a child. This is because stress affects the central nervous system and the immune system, making it difficult for them to develop into their full potential. To help a child who has gone through traumatic experience to heal, social support is the key to reducing the impact of trauma in them. One, encourage the child to talk about his feelings and validate his emotions. Number two, make that child to understand that it was never his fault. Number three, be patient with the child as you allow the child to heal at his pace. Remember, help the kids learn better. If you find this video useful, please like and share with families and friends. Also do well to click on the notification button so you'll be the first person to know whenever we post new content. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please leave a comment on the comment section. Thank you for watching.